Hi, welcome back to Valley News Live. We have a lot to cover right now, so let's take a look at our first alert weather day uh, tomorrow as an Alberta Clipper is going to move on in. So there's a couple things that we're watching Monday. Snow primarily moving through the northern valley, though everywhere could see snow tomorrow. Then Wednesday, our second first alert weather day of the week, we have snow and wind primarily for the southern valley. But again, much of the area could see snow. And then that snow continues on Thursday, our third first alert weather day of the week. So we're going to map it out here on the seven day. We're going to start with Monday. We could see about one to four inches for a lot of the area and even more in some places. So let's take a look at that right now. Here's a look at the radar. That snow already moving in for much of our North Dakota counties. Crossing the river right now, moving through Fargo as well as Grand Forks as we speak. And as we move overnight, we're going to continue watching that snow move across the area. The bulk of that snow moving across the river by about one o'clock in the morning. The heavier snow right along that Highway 2 corridor. But if you're in the south and you like snow, don't worry. There's plenty of it coming. We're going to see that pick up as we move throughout the early morning hours, about three to five in the morning. See these purples? That's really heavy snowfall rates of about one inch per hour. So it'll really start to add up now by morning. Most of that first wave of snow is going to be out of the picture for folks in North Dakota, just crossing that river as we speak at 730 in the morning. Now that snow is going to continue moving off and there's a second wave behind it for this Monday system and behind that plenty of north winds causing some blowy snow. So that morning commute will be an issue. That second wave will cross the river by around lunchtime tapering off as we move through the evening. Things finally start to calm down as we start headed off to bed and temperatures much colder. Some negatives for folks in the north, single digits for folks in the south. This is what we're looking at right along that highway too is where we're expecting that greatest risk of five or more inches. As you move a little north, two to four. As you move a little south, same thing, two to four and even farther south, one to three. Now let's take a look at those first alert weather days for Wednesday and Thursday as a Colorado low this time moves on in bringing snow starting actually on Tuesday, continuing on Wednesday and then finishing up as we move into Friday. Now we're still a ways off from this one, so the track could change and so could that accumulation. But we're already starting to see accumulation by around nine o'clock on Tuesday. Again, primarily in the south. Now as we move throughout the day on Wednesday, we have a bit of a break during the morning hours, but so that thing will push south and then move back north as we move into the evening hours. These purple colors are where we're going to start to see that heaviest accumulation. And if you're headed to Minneapolis for that girls hockey state tournament, watch out. We could see up to two feet of snow for folks down in the Twin Cities. This system is no joke. So where we're seeing these purple colors, that's the best chance for eight or more inches of snow. And those white colors, oof, a foot, maybe more. Any as we head off to the Twin Cities, we could see two feet for folks there. So lots of snow coming for that one. So Monday, first alert weather day. Tuesday, that snow begins again with another system. Moves south during the day on Wednesday, but back up during the afternoon period. And then continues all the way throughout the day on Thursday. Finally stopping around midnight on Friday morning. But then look at those temperatures. Very chilly. Negatives to start the day and single digits to end the day. Yeah, so much just to pay attention to. Three first alert weather days. Mm -hmm. And of course, we got to get through this first one that's yeah. happening right now. Right now. Jim, thank you so much. And we do know that people can also stay 